manifest anything you want through the use of this special supernatural prayer. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals, reminding you to click that bell icon. We're here five days a week to empower your life with the law of attraction, the latest in the mind sciences, and of course, personal empowerment. So we all know that the universe works with the power of prayer and the power of prayer has been documented over the centuries with various kinds of double blind tests. And it seems to have some kind of unique power in and of itself. In other words, it's not so much who's praying it's or how they're praying. It's the fact that they are praying with intense emotion. Uh, and so prayer tends to work. And I'm not going to get into a video on prayer today, but I want to share with you a supernatural prayer that you've probably been introduced to before. We've talked about it on this channel and I'm certain other channels have talked about it as well, but I'm going to tell you how to use it to help you manifest anything you desire. Ho ono pono pono. It will help you. Now here's how it works. When you think about manifesting, when you think about attracting what you deeply desire, what you really crave in your life, oftentimes you have a roadblock, you have an energy block. It's trapped not only within your subconscious mind, but it's trapped within your conscious mind. It's trapped within your energy field and high flyers. It may even be trapped within your soul. In other words, you may have a resistance to what you desire on a soul level. Now, some people would say that this is an indication of past lives, that you're bringing something from another lifetime into this reality. I don't know if that's true or not, but what I will say is that there are people that come into this world and they carry a certain amount of something with them. They carry an essence with them and they bring it with them. And then on top of it, they go through early childhood and schooling and various imprints are put on their subconscious mind and their belief systems. And what happens is they learn to develop uh, a, an aura of negativity. They, they develop an aura of negative energy and it's very difficult. They have dreams. These people have dreams and they have goals and they have desires. You may know who I'm talking about. This may be you. You have dreams, you have goals, you have desires, but for some reason, for some crazy reason, they just don't manifest, not the way you desire. You get so close, so close to having the relationship and the love you desire, then it fizzles away. You get so close to having the money that you desire and the abundance and prosperity, and then it's gone. You get close to having the vitality and health and energy and magnetism that you desire, that you know is within you. And then it's gone. You run into a brick wall time after time after time. You've tried everything under the sun and very little works or it works for a little while. And then you some somehow get reverted back to where you were. And when you go back to try it again, it doesn't work anymore. It doesn't have a payoff for you. It doesn't help you. And the reason is, is you have deep energy blocks. Now look, high flyers, you could come to my house 
and I could work with you for a week, a month, two months, three months, and we could work together and you would be released from these energy blocks. You would find release after the first session, but you can't all come to my house. I don't have enough room. I have a big house. I don't have enough room for everybody. So the next best thing is to learn and use this supernatural prayer to begin to heal yourself, clear yourself, rejuvenate yourself and open yourself up to the money you desire, the love you crave and the health that you absolutely depend on. Now, high flyers, Ho'oponopono, uh, there's been a lot written about it. I want to share with you a few books real quickly. Uh, uh, Ultrich E. Dupree has a good book out. I've read it. The book of Ho'oponopono by Luck Bowden, MD, and Zero Limits by Dr. Joe Vitale and Dr. Hugh Lin. All great books. There's other books, but I want to share something that's very important. You see, when originally, in ancient times, when Ho'oponopono was developed, it was a forgiveness tool. It was a, it was a mantra, a prayer to forgive others. It was also used as a clearing tool. They would use it on the land. They would use it on the ocean. They would use it on each other. It was a clearing tool. And of course, when people were sick and had an illness, it was a healing tool. Now, during modern times, it was modified by a kahuna, which is the keeper of secrets. And this kahuna modified it and she modified it in a way to help clear away blocks, to clear away resistance. And that's what you run into all the time when you are so close to getting what you I have a gentleman, I'm telling you the truth. He's so close to winning the big lottery. He sees all the signs. He's, he feels the energy, he gets small winnings on a regular basis. He is so close, but he's got a little bit of resistance. This is perfect for him to clear out that resistance. So what we do, is rather than do this work for someone else, we do it for our family. We do it for ourselves. I do it for me because if I'm clear and I'm open and I'm flowing, then I'm a much better asset to my family. But if I am stuck, if I'm tense, if I'm tight, if I'm pushing and I get like that, trust me, I get like that from time to time. If I get that way, then the energy stops to flow. It stops flowing. And guess what happens? Manifestation slows down. So if you deeply desire to receive what it is that your intention is, try this technique. You notice we have two candles here. And we have a picture of the family. And this is the picture I use here. There are other pictures on the wall, but I use the picture of the three of us. And I will simply look at that picture, turn off all the lights, and I will look at that picture. I will have two candles burning. Why do I have the candles burning? People ask me, why do you have to have candles burning? You don't. You can do this in your mind but I like this method because it's tactile and it works. And because the candles tend to take on my intention. So as they are burning, they are expressing my intention with light into the darkness, with light into the universe. Does that make sense? Okay. So I will simply look at the picture of myself and my wife and Julian, because I feel that by clearing all three of us together, uh, I'm all automatically clearing myself, but I'm also clearing my family as well. I love you. I'm sorry. 
please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Now, when we talk about love, we're not talking about, I need you. I want you. I crave you. That's not love. We're talking about, I love you. I give, I give myself to you. I'm opening up the doors. I'm removing all the barriers. I love you. I'm sorry. For whatever reason, the resistance is in my life, in our lives as a unit. I'm sorry that I manifested it, that I attracted it. You see high flyers. I am responsible for everything I attract in my life. And so are you. You're responsible for everything you attract in your life. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive me for not being open, for not being clear, for not being free and flowing. And thank you. Now, if you do this in your room with two candles and say just a picture of yourself, and that's what I would highly recommend. Look at yourself. Look at yourself. You can do this in front of a mirror too, by the way, look at yourself and say, I love you and really mean it. Fall in love with yourself again. Love yourself unconditionally, completely and totally. Once you feel that love reflecting back to you, you're going to feel new and wholesome. You're going to feel like you can manifest anything you desire. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I manifested this. I'm sorry. I attracted this negativity. Please forgive me and feel that forgiveness. And then I think the most important one is thank you. Because when I say thank you, I absolutely feel, I say, Oh, thank you. Thank you. I feel the forgiveness. I feel the clearing. I feel myself becoming 20 pounds lighter. I feel the manifestation flowing into my life. Like I've never felt before. I'm telling you high flyers and I, I sincerely mean it. If you will use this supernatural prayer in the way that I've defined it, the way nobody else has defined it this way, you won't find anyone else talking about using it in this fashion. But if you will do that, you will receive results that are unbelievable, uncommon in an ordinary life. It's, it's, it's amazing. Picture two candles, the prayer. Namaste. You have a peaceful and loving day. Bye-bye now.